Sagittarius. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is second week of April. Please like and share if this is your first time. Please remember to um, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, remember to go and look at your second week uh, um, in the monthly readings to see what is coming up. This is what is here for you, Sagittarian, in the second week. Archangel Zatkiel is here and it's a week of sincerity and I love this picture because it is from one of my favorite, favorite artists. It is a beautiful, wonderful picture. Archangel Zatkiel is here, security is here and I see positive alignment of energy comes up. Now, Sagittarian, there is a, um, uh, on Monday, the energy of the star is in reverse. On Tuesday, the six of swords is in reverse. Um, so you have air energy on Monday and air energy on Tuesday. Wednesday, you have the energy of the Six of Cups. Thursday, you have the Queen of Cups. Friday, you have some sort of a conflict that is going to be over. Saturday, you're open for some good news from the family, but it's not going to be coming in. So, um, we have a Monday, Tuesday here. Uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we have water. Friday and Saturday we have fire. Um, Sunday we have some sort of a situation with a family that you're trying to repair some sort of a damage that was created in the family. So Archangel Zatikiel is here and it is uh, something to do with security, your security, the security of other people around you. And it is good to call upon Archangel Zatikiel because it has to do with family. And some sort of a family security that is transpiring. Um, some of you are doing it with a scorpion. And I see this scorpion is uh, going to be there for you um, to support you. The scorpion can be a friend or it can be a sister or a family member. There is some sort of an issue and family issue. But I see that you Sagittarian are trying to bring this family issue in balance. So. Number six is going to be playing a significant role in your life. Um, six of here is here, um, which is a cycle is not yet over. Then we see the six of cup friends and friends are going to be there. Um, and some of you were waiting on some sort of news um, from a Leo. But I see the conflicts between this Leo is over and you're trying to balance out your family and bring back balance in your family. I see a scorpion is going to be there for some of you in order to support you in whatever issue and situation that you're going through. This, it could be a family, but it could also be like a far cousin or someone who is really there cheering you on and is going to be supporting you in whatever endeavor they can. So however this is coming up, we are going to be checking out because what we're seeing is that the energy of the star is that if there was some sort of a conflict with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person, I see this conflict is going to be over, okay? If you had some sort of a conflict with a um, a Pisces person, a woman, I see it's going to be over. Whether it's your mother or a sister or a family member, it is going to be over. Let's see what is coming up for the energy of the star. I see some information about a whole lot of money is going to be coming in. Um, it could be that you or have to pay this money out or you have to re resolve a situation with a whole lot of money, okay? So the energy of the star could be showing up this money. I see some of you were hoping for this money to come in, um, but um, there is some sort of a changes. I see some sort of a changes is happening. Um, and I see truth is coming out about an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. Whoever this Aquarian is and whatever is transpiring, I see they're going to be finding out about the connection between an Aquarian and this Queen of Cups. An Aquarian and this Queen of Cups. So be aware of this, what is happening and transpire. Then I see an end is going to be coming in. Um, um, to some sort of a, cause this is the end of transition. Um, that is going to be coming in. If some of you were in a relationship, um, some of you, there was some sort of a situation where a whole lot of money was showed up. 
and i see an end is coming in and it has to do with an end to some of your work so some of you were hoping um for um a new offer a new job offer to come in and whatever is transpiring here is a situation where people are going to be finding out about a whole lot of money um that some of you have acquired and um this 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 situation is some sort of an investigation what is coming up and is transpiring um i see a whole lot of you have deal with some sort of a issues a whole lot of burdens that a conflicts has created with friends um i see some of you are dealing with a pisces cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is and i see um you're standing your grounds because this is upright it's as if some of you are standing your grounds against a leo person okay so there is a lot that is happening and transpiring and the center is uh, something to do with work some of you are trying to work out some sort of an issue some of you have some sort of an issue at work and i see you're trying to resolve this issue and resolve this situation so a lot has been happening and a lot has been transpiring and we are going to be um looking and finding out what exactly is transpiring because i see um you're trying to balance out an issue and a situation with the family so a lot of you are having some sort of issues and the leos are coming up the scorpions the leos and the scorpions and um whatever is transpiring you sagittarians are trying really trying to balance out a situation um that is happening and transparent you were hoping for a certain sort of a connection with a young scorpion between the age of 18 and 45 and this could be your child for some of you and you're waiting waiting for um this connection but i see that um the issue and the problem is now over the conflict is now over you haven't received a message from this person but I see this person need times to reconnect with the family. So what we're seeing here, the energy of the star, this is um, the energy on Monday and it's just in reverse and it is showing up something about a whole lot of money. And some of you were hoping for an offer to come in and I see um, they're going to, um, this offer is not going to be coming in. So however this is, you were hoping for some sort of a financial help or um, maybe um, you have applied for a job and this sort of a thing. I see this offer is not going to be coming in. Some of you, a cycle is not yet over because there is a um, huge investigation over a whole lot of money that has to do with um, business or it has to do with something to do with your work. Um, they are going to be finding out that a Aries um, and a Virgo um together with an aquarium as a done some sort of a false act and create some sort of a um wealth um over the shoulder of someone else so that is coming up some of you are dealing with friendships there was a whole lot of conflicts with friendship a whole lot of you were dealing with a scorpion um and a whole lot of conflicts over money with a scorpion however this is happening and transpiring so um, you got to be aware of this and open up your eyes. Uh, um, the conflicts is going to be over between you and the scorpion. I see an end could be coming up uh, to a young scorpion or a young Pisces Cancer or scorpion. This person is between the age of 18 and 45. Then we see the energy of uh, this Queen of Cups. Whatever the Queen of Cups is, I see... Um, the Queen of Cups stand their ground. And this could be your manager at the workplace. I see this person is standing their ground and is trying to resolve some sort of an issue and some sort of a problem with some money. And this person is really standing their ground and they hold up their hands as if I just want peace. And I do understand this energy from the Queen of Cups is as if she has been going through so much. She misses her child. The conflicts with a child and this and she is standing her ground holding on to her money and said just return my money i just want peace so whatever is happening and transpired this lady is not releasing her money she's keeping her money 
And she is holding up her hand and said, I just want peace. So whatever is happening there and transpiring. On Friday, the conflict is going to be finally over with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. Um, if this person was a Pisces or a Scorpion, I see some sort of a transition is going to be coming up. I see the end with a Leo, whatever is happening and transpire the conflicts that some of you were dealing with a Leo. This is going to be over. There is no question about it. This um, complex has come to an end um, and this has created a whole lot of issue for a whole lot of you. What we're seeing is that there is something about a whole lot of money and some of you were hoping that you would have received a whole lot of money. But I see this is not going to be happening. It was like an offer that you were open to come in. The conflicts between you and um, your co-workers on the work floor is now over because they're seeing the truth about what was happening and transpiring. Then I see the energy of the Queen of Cups and a young, um, both young and old, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. The conflicts also between them is now over. Then we are seeing um, some sort of issues that a whole of you are dealing with where you were open for some sort of a news to come in from your child that is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. You haven't heard anything. Um, you're waiting, waiting, waiting. You're trying to balance out and bring um, a situation to an end. But you're just there waiting, waiting, waiting and trying to figure out how to balance. The two major arcanas that comes up, it has to do with debt. Debt and transformation. People seeing the truth about an Aquarius and a whole lot of money. That was um, access with an Aquarian. So um, you have to be aware and you have to be um, understanding what has been happening and transpiring. So um, this is going to be um, a very, very important time for you guys to be aware of uh, this transition that is transpiring. So um, there is, um, yeah, there is definitely a whole lot that is happening. I see that as, as a situation between you and uh, um, maybe your wife or your ex-wife uh, um, is still going on with the kids and that sort of a thing. And you're trying to resolve this. Some of you was open for an offer from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Um, this would have given a whole lot of money, but it, um, the offer is still on the table. I see um, some sort of a conflict that you were having. Now you're ending this conflict and you're standing your grounds in order to balance out the situation and bring back balance to your family. A whole lot of money, they're going to be finding out something with a whole lot of money with an Aquarian. Whoever this Aquarian is and whatever it is, is transpiring, it could have been also some sort of an investigation about a whole lot of money because we have the Ten of Pentacles, um, we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, so this is a week of really money is going to be coming in for some of you where money could be returning after some sort of a conflict or they are going to be finding out that some of you Sagittarius, um, they're going to be investigating some of you and looking at your financial stability and um, kind of figuring out uh, where the extra money, extra incomes come that is not from your salary. So a lot is, uh, is going on. Um, they're going to be um, finding out about some sort of a money and, and money that and some sort of a, um, um, money that was uh, um, go between you and a Leo. Whoever this Leo is, is a family member. Um, some of you are dealing with a Leo that is a family member. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. It's coming up as a Pisces, a young man and a family member with a whole lot of money that went through your ends, all of you ends. And I see truths are coming out. So be aware of this. So, Sanji, it says a week. Go and listen to the monthly readings in order to find out what is happening and what is transpiring for the monthly readings. You're going to be finding out the truth about um, um, what is um, happening. So the second week of the monthly readings, look at the second week of the monthly readings and then come back and look at this reading in order to um, be um, aware of what is happening, of what is transpiring, because you will find out the connection that is happening. Gotta go. Namaste.